Hello, welcome to video number one in our Microsoft Certified Professional Developer 4.0 series via ASP.NET and C Sharp exam 70-515. This content is only created by Ravi Nanganuri, Microsoft MVP, .NET videos .NET. So video number one, we're going to introduce the MCPD 4.0 video series. Uh, we're going to specifically get into some specifics around 70-515 exam, or first exam. So the environment here, we're using a laptop with 4 gigabyte of RAM, Visual Studio 2010 Ultimate RTM. Uh, you can practice in a similar environment, you can work along in a similar environment, you can see our virtualization video series if you need help setting up a virtualized environment. It can uh, also be a physical environment, it doesn't have to be a virtualized environment. Something similar to this uh, is fine to work along with, so whatever you have. You're going to need Visual Studio 2010 uh, for the .NET 4.0 stuff. One to two years .NET development experience is kind of expected, but you can certainly watch our Visual Studio 2008 Novice to Professional videos, which will give you much of the fundamentals uh, that you need, and that's on .NET videos .NET as well. So anything that you might want to firm up or any fundamentals you need to uh, touch base on, uh, we have uh, quite uh, a robust set of videos out there on a variety of topics. You could plug into those. Uh, this video series will provide another resource to prep for the MCPD 4.0 certification. This specific series we're working with here will be for the ASP.NET side uh, with C Sharp. And we're going to go through the various exams uh, via a, a video series for each exam. Um, you can focus for this series is actually going to be specifically on exam 70-515, and that is web app development with Microsoft 4.NET 4.0. This will also earn you the Microsoft Certified Technology Specialist certification, as well as provide one of the exams you're going to need for the MCPD. So uh, the, the .NET videos .NET makes no claims or guarantees for actual exam test pass or failures. That's just our disclaimer at the bottom. Uh, the video series is just another tool for your tool belt in helping you prepare for the exam. The MCPD Web Developer 4 exam consists of three Microsoft Certified Technology Specialist exams and one core or pro exam. So the first exam, which is the one we're going to be working on, 70-515 for this video series, is covering web applications. Uh, MCTS Service Communication Applications, or 70-513, is another exam and another video series we have. And then MCTS.NET Framework 4 Data Access, 70-516, uh, that's the third and final MCTS exam you need. And then finally, that 70-518 Pro exam. So we'll have all uh, the exams covered via uh, our various video series. The MCPD certs basically validate the skill sets you need to build and deploy uh, robust.NET apps. So how are you going to use our videos for certification? Our videos provide basically concrete examples that target each of the uh, topics being covered in the exams. And we're going to be do much of this with demos. Basically, we're not going to be in PowerPoint much, just to summarize maybe at the beginning or the end. This video here is in PowerPoint, but most of it is going to be concrete, hands-on demos. Now, you can leverage all of our other videos, or many of them, the .NET 3.5 stuff, Team System. Uh, there's lots of good stuff there to firm up any fundamental things you need to do. Again, that's on .NET videos .NET, and that can give you a running start into this video series, and much of those fundamentals from the previous .NET 3.5 stuff directly apply and are, would be used actually to obtain your 4.0 certification. So I encourage that if you have any holes you would like to fill. Uh, you can work along with our examples, or you might just choose to watch the demos and practice them later. That is fine. You could certainly work along as we go, and that would be a great way to do it. Or as you could just watch them and then later on apply the concepts that you learn from the videos. I encourage you to watch uh, a video more than once if needed, um, especially when you're preparing for such uh, cramming for exams, etc. It makes sense that you really... Uh, it's possible you would watch the video more than once even. You can watch the series beginning to end, or you feel free to plug into various topic videos. So use it more like a piece of reference material, if you wish, uh, to explore certain topics. You know, If you do watch end to end, there will be some dependencies that we build on from previous videos, but it's still fine to plug in in the various spots of the videos. It's no problem. Uh, you can consult Microsoft certification website, the official certification site, for any other prep materials. Uh, again, this is .NET videos uh, tool, but there are other books uh, learning classes, etc. You might you might intend to take or use. Use our virtualization video series again. I mentioned that earlier, but you want to set up an environment if you need to. It's kind of invaluable for being able to uh, to do things like this. A nice virtualized environment. So 7515. To overview that, there's several concepts here. We're accessing data with link at ADO.net using WCF. Uh, we're going to cover state management as well. Uh, we're going to cover ASP.NET configuration as well. Um, these you know debugging and deployment will be covered in the exam as well as app and page lifecycle management. And moving on, um, we'll be talking about security as well as part of the, the exam topics. Client-side scripting, so, such as the AJAX stuff, JavaScript, jQuery. 
and IIS is covered. So uh, specifically, these are the topics that ASP.NET MVC uh, wraps things up, and this pretty much follows what you would find on the certification website for Microsoft. So again, you could go out to that official site. Uh, you know, this would be the unofficial video series. Um, you know, these are not; these are just abbreviated from what they publicly publish out there. So there's no magic or hidden tricks here as well. And we actually break down the videos just like the exam uh, content is, and this is publicly available as well. So 19% of the time spent on web forms, 18% of the time spent on web form controls creating page layouts, this type of thing, manipulating UI stuff, um, and 60% on the client side scripting, the Ajax stuff, we'll have some Java uh, script there, jQuery, understanding various DOM stuff, 15% configuring and extending a web application, so it's authorization, authentication type stuff, uh, using HTTP handlers, referencing web services, 19% displaying and manipulating data, so using data bound controls, uh, with link, you know, using data services, uh, creating a, a dynamic data project. This type of stuff is all publicly published on the website once again. And then finally, 13% will be spent on ASP.NET MVC, actually version 2 uh, of a MVC. So what, controllers, actions, custom routes, etc. And again, I encourage you to go out and look at the certification website. These are going to be approximate figures, but we're going to intend to weight the videos and the concrete examples that we're going to show you uh, with the same weighting that Microsoft is basically giving the uh, the 4.0 certification exams. Now, much of this is early content, uh, but again, you can always consult Microsoft's website. These numbers may fluctuate a bit, up or down. Our video series won't necessarily hit these numbers exactly, but that's really what we're trying to do is make a powerful video series around uh, the similar weighting. We're going to give similar focus to what the actual exam is going to try to measure, and you'll see this uh, based on the number of videos we have as well as the depth of the content that we go in for each video. So I will encourage you to watch our uh, upcoming video number two in the series, in which case you will actually uh, begin with ASP.NET Web Forms.